What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mark B. I know I'm not, I'm not uh, looking too enthused, but it happened again. This time they took the whole shebang. Got here about an hour and a half ago to pick up my trailer, and it's gone, man. It's gone. Like I'm, this ain't even a joke, man. It's gone. Well, yeah, they stole my entire equipment, entire trailer, a couple of weeks ago. I'll, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it here later on. But I have a buddy of mine that is helping me out with his equipment, also helping me out with uh, his time. Had to come and get some uh, string. We're using uh, my buddy's equipment, mower, no trailer. You guys will uh, see her here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're here at Lowe's. All right, let's go pay for this. So we're using the uh, Ugly Line brand by Shakespeare. I wonder if that's the, uh, yeah, that's the same uh, brand that uh, fishing equipment um, you can get at Shakespeare. So, well, that's what we got going on, guys. No trailer. We have a uh, Honda. We got that blower there. And we got a, uh, we got the Echo. Nice little two cycle gas. So that's what we're working with, y'all. So let's, uh, man, just feels weird not having a trailer. But quick recap, guys, or update on my stolen trailer and equipment. I got a tip from from one of the guys that found my trailer. He called me on my business phone this morning and um, gave me the location of where the trailer is. So I'm actually heading heading over to South Dallas. I'm gonna meet the police department there, a couple of officers there, and we're gonna assess the damage um, also, let me backtrack. I did contact the storage unit. They do have surveillance and a time of day of of the of the of the crime, right? So it happened last Monday, six o'clock in the morning, and that's when we had that storm. We had the storm Sunday, but nobody was out in the streets like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday so obviously that was a if anything was going to happen um, that was probably a good time for them to check my trailer now of course the storage is not responsible for it according to them they, they stole it on Monday morning last week 6 o'clock in the morning did the report yesterday because my plan was to already bring all of my stuff bring my trailer and uh, park it at home that way I won't have to pay any um, storage fees space fees and it was just perfect timing perfect timing so I'm on my way over to uh, the location and I'll uh, of course I'll I'll get the camera out and we'll we'll do some footage and uh, we'll assess the the damage together. Hopefully, the vehicle isn't in too bad of a shape to where I could have, I'm able to bring it home, pull it home. Of course, uh, the lead that I got from one of the tenants there at the apartments where it's where the trailer is found said that it's been there since Monday which um, lines up with the time frame it was stolen so and of course he said all the doors are broken and busted open so we'll see we'll see uh, I just I just couldn't sleep last night I was I was just I was just mad pissed off and <laughs> you know just not in just in a bad mood 
anyways, uh, I'm gonna give y'all guys a, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a view. Um, right now, I feel a little relief. Now, obviously, the equipment is not gonna be in there. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I did have the backpack blowers and the trimmers on the uh, green touch rack system. Hopefully, hopefully they didn't break that or break off the racks off the trailer. We'll see. All right, y'all. Well, we got a, our first mow of the season. Well, for me, right? I've actually had these guys come out here and take care of my property. And I'll explain as we get into this video uh, how I'm kind of running things but i wanted to give you all a little view of what's going on the first property that i'm actually out here mowing there it is grass was really really high a lot of weeds i forgot a little spot there but we're using a, a little uh low blower i mean it's okay i think it's okay so we're using the uh, SRM225 Echo hedge trimmer and uh, haven't had the chance to use this right here. What is the jet fan technology made by Ryobi. Not half crank guys, but this is full crank, okay? Not a quarter. So this is gonna be the first mow for this property for this season. A little high in the edges. We also have to, uh, we got a flower bed cleanup and it looks like it's gonna be a mess. So that's Richard, he's my helper. He's helping me out. I've actually been subbing out work to him. He's been a uh, big help big blessing especially uh, at this time unfortunately uh, you know I can't go full force without my foot but I will I'll get back up all right well I got I got here a little too late so there it's going to the impound I can't I told the police department I was on my way I don't know why they didn't wait oh man so there there goes another charge I got to now I gotta run all the way back home, get the proof of insurance, get the proof of uh, title. But there it is, man. And they said it was empty. The whole trailer was empty. He said it'd give them an hour before, uh, I guess it was, it was at this location. I think this was the apartment it was at. I guess it was parked here. But it looks like we got other vehicles may have gotten broken into or something over here. Dang, man, that sucks. So I guess, I don't know. Talk to the guy, he says they, if it's stolen, they usually don't, uh, they won't charge you. But now I got to go all the way home and, uh, get the proof of insurance and all that you know title and stuff so now I gotta go all the way back home took me almost an hour to get here now it's gonna be another hour back find the stuff and then now we're back over here and hopefully I'll be able to catch catch them before they close they close at five and it's two right now so I think I'm gonna call the police department and tell them why why didn't they wait? I told them I was on the I was on their way that I was I was on my way, but there it is. And there they go. So we'll leave them doing that. I'll start edging and uh, blowing. 
but yeah guys the uh i got my whole rig stolen on a uh, february the 15th everything got stolen from my storage i was gonna pick it up well i'll tell you what it, they actually stole it during the uh snowstorm ice storm that we had that first monday which was the 15th which was one of the worst days here in texas with the snowstorm we had that's actually when they took my rig from the uh rental spot i had at the uh, storage facility uh they did have cameras they did see it on on camera so i don't know if, if my stuff is ever going to get returned man baby cakes is gone <laughs> baby cakes is gone no more baby cakes all right so we've knocked out about uh five houses already this morning <laughs> guys i'm not even gonna lie i think i kind of like this method better better than pulling the big old trailer i know the big trailer looks nice but this is actually a whole a whole lot more efficient now maybe a little ramp would uh work like the uh mowing go system that my buddy uh victor has over at uh the mow ranger i don't know this is i like this i mean i could go in and out of traffic especially this community where streets are very uh tight i'm actually digging the uh just working out of the bed wanted uh uh you guys to meet richard he's i don't know if he's shy está bien que grabamos oh, en... sí, está bien. Está está bien. Bien. okay so, okay gracias so uh we got this yard y'all guys seen this not too shabby i mean it's a, there's a lot of weeds um i know the customer has been uh wanting some kind of fertilizer because the grass here is dead but i think it's just dormant it is saint augustine and that's uh mr richard and we'll get to know mr richard uh for a little bit you know here in, here in a second a little bit more I, I didn't know if he was a camera shy or not but uh you know it gives me a he speaks spanish but uh you know we're able to communicate uh very effectively and also uh oh even though my Spanish is not the best Spanish, but he understands me, I think. And of course I understand him. So we'll, we'll get to meet uh, Mr. Richard as we go. Real cool guy, I've known him for a couple of years actually. Didn't know he did uh, landscaping or lawn care. Well, he kind of does odds and ends stuff. Uh, I guess uh, I would consider him a handyman. So man it's a blessing to have him helping me out guys i would i definitely uh, sub out a lot of work to him especially now that i don't have my equipment or rig with me my trailer all right so i'm here at the dallas police department impound they've been kind of giving me the round i wasn't supposed to pay there the police department was supposed to wait there till i got there and they're going to let me take it but I had to pay for the impound. They brought it anyways. A dude was kind of giving me a, uh, giving me a, golly, man, they jacked it up, dude. It's all jacked up. Dang it. Man, that sucks. I'm gonna see if, he, if Richard is ready for some, uh, maybe uh, get some tacos or burritos. So uh, I think he's a. Uh, he might be ready for lunchtime. It's always good for lunchtime, right? I think he likes burritos. I think he's uh, from Juarez. Bueno, 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 super bueno. Oh, okay. I guess I missed. Super. Well, I'm gonna have to raise that up a little bit. But uh, 
but the fender on the other side is tore up, man. So, yep, they busted the locks. I'm sure, I'm sure it's uh, empty on the inside, busted that lock up. Dang it, man, they did a, they did a number on there. Definitely did a number on there. Screwed up. Look at that, man. Screwed up my rim. Screwed up the fender. Might have to pull this out a little bit, man. Busted up all this. That's all busted up. The lights, yep, that's all busted up. They busted up the battery. definitely gonna have to go in the shop all right guys wanted you guys to uh meet my helper richard richard ricardo R R well ricardo Rica 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 richard uh hola hey, uh que quieres comer tacos burritos uh gorditas mama mia that, that ain't spent that no, that's not Spanish, right? No, no, it's Espan no, it's, it's Mamma Mia, gorditas. Tacos, está bien. Tacos? Tacos. <laughs> I don't think he was impressed with my Spanish, <laughs> but it's all, it's all good. But hey, gracias por, uh, por, I help. All right, y'all. Well, I'm here at Taco Cabana. I'm gonna eat me some uh, flautas. Or I think some people may call them taquitos. So we just got three. It's uh, still breakfast time, but I went ahead and got me these instead. So we got guacamole we could dip it in. We got some queso. Oh no. So uh, let's, let's try the guacamole and see what that tastes like. Here we go. Not too bad. Chicken, not beef. Inside of the tortilla, does it still a little mushy? It's not as crispy as I would like them to be. Let's try uh let's dip it in the queso. Queso tastes pretty good, not too bad. The outside is crunchy, inside is a little not done. So we're gonna try to wait it out, give it about 15 minutes. I did get some, uh, a little bit of sprinkling, so we'll see. It may, uh, it may just pass us. If so, I'm gonna get back there and uh, get back on it with a 21 inch Honda. But that Ryobi blower, guys, I don't think that's gonna cut it. Yeah, I mean, it has no power and it's so freaking heavy. Now I do have a budget that I have to stay stay within to get some equipment but i don't know i don't i'm gonna have to probably just get a backpack invest in a backpack blower and i'm gonna have to just use some bow, bow uh borrow some equipment after that because of course a backpack blower 
runs about 500 bucks. So I may just invest in that because I think that's that that little blower doesn't <laughs> doesn't blow worth jack unless I just get a like a BG 55 handheld blower from steel. That might work better than that. So that's another option. Um, slowly but surely, we're gonna get back up. If I have to stick with with a, a loners for a, for a month, I mean, it is what it is. So be it. We'll just go from there, you know. It sucks this had to happen. It sucks that it happened. Uh, well, I mean, it's still early in the season for us, actually. The grass is still dormant, but weeds are terrible right now. So... <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know how much longer I, I'll be able to just push or use a 21 inch. Cause my yards are pretty big. I forgot how long it takes to do it with a 21 inch. So I may, if I get me a Ryder zero turn standard, it's definitely gonna be used. But that's gonna be later down the season. Cause I'm not gonna get anything on credit anymore. Um, thank God the insurance are going to pay off what I owed on the zero turn and the uh, commercial Toro 21 inch mower. They're gonna pay that off. So that means I, I start at a clean slate. Um, and just we just got to build up from there show you the damage real quick again force bent got a bent rim bent fender this is broken looks like they tried to pry that and uh looks like they ran into i don't know what they ran into but there's plastic in here I say they ran into something because all that is dented up. Look like they may have jackknifed it. Kind of see some of that foam. Then, of course, they took all the wiring off the brake, the battery. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, well, I got a buddy of mine who brought his right standard. This is the standard B 32 inch stand on mower. Got my buddy over here. He's uh, staying out of harm's way just in case I go bananas on it. He's on tour after his first two events. Absolutely be on fire. But uh, do you guys know I got baby cakes stolen? Baby cakes is uh, no longer with us. Uh, God rest her soul But I'm in the market I guess to uh, get me another stand on I try to do my big properties push mowing today with a 21 inch mower that a friend let me borrow and it's uh, I Don't know I had to I had to call my buddy up. I was like hey man. Let me let me demo your your stand on see if I like it so um, let's go ahead and uh get some footage of me rolling on this baby cakes well oh man that just hurt me it ain't baby cakes oh i'm so used to saying baby cakes first thoughts of this mower is first of all i like how small it is it has a, a very small uh footprint which is awesome because not only will it fit through most of, if not all my backyards, all my backyard gates. And I'll 
I've been also thinking about instead of using a trailer, get the uh, mowing go system or a ramp system trailer for my bed and a zero turn or not a zero turn, but a standard mower like this would definitely fit on my truck. So, um, you know, we're kind of seeing the gas can and, you know, where the fuel filter and the hydros and whatnot um, is here on this uh, standard. Now, I, I did like it. Um, I liked it a lot and I was, I've been always, uh, you know, kind of researching and thinking about getting me a standard, even whenever I had all of my equipment. So maybe this is the time to get one. Of course, it'll be, it'll be a month or two before, before I purchase one and it may be a used one. I just don't want to get in debt anymore now that the insurance actually paid, paid off what I owed on the zero turn and the commercial and the other tools and equipment I had. So we'll, uh, I don't know. We'll see maybe in a month or two, see if I want to get, uh, take one out on credit. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to try to save up and buy one cash used or fairly new. So, and also we, I didn't film it, but we did actually cut, I think it was probably like a, two and a quarter, two and a half um, strip, or um, we lowered the deck to about two and a half, and we did a strip, and it came out perfect. I mean, it was phenomenal. Sorry I didn't have footage for that, but I don't know. I know there's a standard B, then there's the other 32-inch standard, which is the uh, commercial grade, which is a fixed deck. Not too sure how inconvenient a fixed deck would be but i don't know y'all guys let me know in the comments if you would go with a floating deck or a fixed deck and that will be something i will definitely consider purchasing investing in the future all right so we did a couple of runs with the uh standard b the right or right mower and uh Controls are a little bit uh, touchy. I'm so used to the zero turn, but you know what? I think, what's the uh, learning curve on, on using this? Like what, how long you think it'll take before? Uh, I mean, about it, a week. About a week, probably. About a week. Two weeks. It takes, uh, okay. used to. Cause I was noticing too, like it's kind of hard to stay, to make straight lines. Can you make straight lines or not yet? I'm, I, I'm, I'm not even an expert at making straight lines. Oh, okay. And I've, I've probably had it now six months. Okay. But you know but but it's again it's the ter terrain i mean it's not as smooth so you're it's kind of bumpy gotcha gotcha you know and so that's why you guys that use standards let me know if is it possible to do straight lines on on a standard mower y'all guys let me know in the comments below y'all guys let me know should i get a right should i get a skag but i do want to get a standard mower not so much uh, sit down, zero turn anymore, just because it takes a lot of str uh, stress. There's a lot of stress and strain on your back, lower back, especially with me, which I already had two back surgeries. So I think a stand on mower will probably be a better choice. Here goes nothing, guys. There you have it. Everything's gone. Baby cakes, trimmers, both backpack blowers, all the attachments I had, the 21 inch Toro commercial, the Honda 21 inch, all my tools up front. Took everything except the uh, trimmer line. Sucks, man. It's 
crazy. Everything you work for. Blood, sweat, and tears, and... And it's gone, you know? It looks like they pried, pried the lock there. And I, I can't even get it, open the door uh, f far enough down to uh, inspect the trimmer racks, but the green touch trimmer racks are still here. That's it. It's all gone.